In this short video, we're going to give you an overview of the Foundation Services Spy Master. And what we're going to be doing is looking at the exchange block example in polling mode. Let's have a look. So we've created a new project for the Mega 4809 Curiosity Nano, and we'd like to go to in MCC, test the Spy Master. So checking that all available libraries are selected, you can see that we have a Spy Master and a Spy Slave, both from Foundation Services. The Spy Master is an abstraction module for Spy peripheral modules. Click to open documentation. We'll add this to our project. And you can see as it opens, we can add a specific instance of the Spy Master. Spy Zero is added by default. So we can see our Spy Master and the peripheral Spy Zero. And also we can see that there's an exchange block example available. So we can select that and just checking Spy Zero. Here we can see it's not interrupt driven, enable Spy on our particular kit. We can check the, uh, the schematics here and we can see that we have Mossy and Miso here on PA4 and PA5 and uh, by default as we add the spy that we have Miso and Mossy on pin A4 and 5. It's like the pins are set up correctly. On the spaceboard here, if we have a look at the user guide, that I have Miso and Mossy, which is carried through all three microbus extensions. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because I have uh, generated code and now looking in the projects, I can see under examples folder, there's a spy master example. And this example here, there's some instructions, um, make a loopback connection, Miso and Mossy to connect the pins to a slave. So what's happening here, we open Spy Master, there's a select certain slave, but if we don't use the slave, then we can loop back. So we'll try and exchange a block if the pins are successfully looped back, it will appear to come from a slave. And so to check if it worked correctly, we'll see the buffer state. And so let's have a look in both points here and here. So what we're going to do is call this example from main by master test. And if we're going to call an example, we should call our spy master example. Let's start a debug session. Okay, so here we come into the spy master test and we're wanting to exchange a, a block and at this point our buffer is showing DATA in the buffer and as we run to the string compare at this point buffer has just F, 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 F. And so we can see that the buffer was not exchanged with the slave, which would be our loopback slave. And if I plug in the loopback in Miso and Mossy, then I'm going to so reset and run. Here I can see my buffer is data and running again. After the exchange block, my buffer is in fact still data. So the bytes have been successfully exchanged. We can see that our spy master is working. The next step would be to actually connect a slave and then receive something back from the slave in this exchange block API. Thank you.